Hey, this is Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, and I'm here with an iCarry Spotlight. Today's Spotlight is on some of the many grip configurations possible with the Smith & Wesson J-Frame Revolver. Let's take a look at these options. Smith & Wesson's ubiquitous J-Frame Revolver has been a concealed carry staple for generations. Released in the 50s, the three main iterations of exposed hammer, enclosed hammer, and the shrouded hammer we have here today have ridden on belts, in pockets, and on ankles for nearly 70 years. These guns are reliable, proven, and lightweight, and make excellent backup or grab-in-a-hurry guns. One of the advantages of the J-Frame is that the grips, more precisely called stocks, are easily replaced, allowing many options for anchoring the gun in the hand. Here are just a few ideas from a broad range of categories. Wood grips. We have Altamont's basket weave grips for the round butt J-Frame here, and many other options from Altamont and other manufacturers are available. In addition to the aesthetically pleasing look, wood grips can be had with texturing or smooth and a wide array of finishes. Wood grips do require a certain amount of care, such as removal before cleaning, to avoid damaging with chemicals. If you're looking to dress up your J-frame though, it's a simple and inexpensive option. G10 grips. VZ Grips offers a number of nearly indestructible G10 grips for the Smith & Wesson J-frame. The advantages to the G10 composite material are its longevity and resistance to weather and chemical related damage, in addition to the varying degree of texture that can be added. When I first installed these grips on my 357 Magnum Model 360, I was concerned the texture would be more punishing than the rubber grips they replaced. Instead, the grips anchored the J-frame to my hand and helped reduce the felt recoil. Of course, it was still a 357 Magnum out of a 12 ounce revolver, so ouch nonetheless. Rubber grips. Hoag's monogrips are OEM equipment on many Smith & Wesson revolvers and for good reason. They're inexpensive, largely impervious to damage, and really help anchor the gun in the hand. One downside, though, comes from that same tackiness of the grip that makes it so easy to shoot. It catches on pretty much every cover garment. If you're carrying the J-frame in a pocket, belt holster, or on your ankle, it will take some practice to avoid catching your cover garment on the rubber material. Laser grips. One of the most practical additions you can make to your J-frame revolver is adding a set of Crimson Trace laser grips. One of the trade-offs of the small concealable revolver centers on the sights. In most cases, the front sight is a simple blade, while the rear sight is little more than a notch carved out of the top strap. In a high-stress encounter, achieving proper sight alignment can be quite difficult using these rudimentary options, so having a laser adds a highly visible alternative. Crimson Trace's instinctive grip activation system ensures you won't have to fumble with a button or switch at this critical time. And for those who scoff about electronics failing when you need them, that's why we practice and train. We practice to know when we need to perform functions like change batteries. And we train so we have a plan to deal with inadvertent failures. As with all things, getting quality training with these specialized tools is always a good idea. Polymer grips. Use of polymers for grip construction opens up a whole world of custom options. In this case, we've opted for the clever Packmire Guardian grips, which have a surprise option. When carried, the grips are in what is commonly referred to as a boot grip configuration, where the bottom of the grip matches the bottom of the pistol's grip frame. However, when a firing grip is achieved, a button in the middle of the grip activates a hidden pinky extension that drops out of the bottom of the grip, allowing a full three-finger grip. It's an innovative compromise between concealability and shootability. We've barely scratched the surface of the grip options available for the Smith & Wesson J-Frame, of course. In each of the categories above, multiple options abound, often from the same manufacturer. Whether you're looking to improve the handling of your J-frame, want to make it look a little better, or want an edge on the firing line, chances are pretty good that the answer to your problem is only the turn of a screw away. For more information on the products we've chosen for today's iCarry Spotlight, or for tips and tricks for everyday carry combination, visit shootingillustrated.com. And, as always, stay tuned for more guns and gear on iCarry.